Hey internet, what's up? Austin Smith here. Welcome to the second part of my EDC video. The first part had pocket and belt pouch carry, which end up being almost the same thing. This next uh, tier, I guess you would say, is my probably least worn uh, tier of my EDC, and it is the fanny pack. Sometimes I wear it, I haven't worn it many times, and you always get weird looks, and to me it's just not as convenient as the smallness of the belt pouch. And my uh, level above is a satchel, and it's not as easy to wear as a satchel, in my opinion. And a satchel is, for some reason, a bit more socially acceptable. So here's the belt pouch, which I sh probably should have shown you as just something visually interesting. The entire back round has just completely blown out and gone out of focus, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I have a couple of fanny packs that I do use. Here's one of them. Uh, this one is like a shooter's fanny pack. It's got a Velcro pouch here, which my cell phone from my belt pouch could go in. And it's got a, uh, a zippered pouch here, which everything else could go in. And then it's got this front pouch here. What I do with my EDC is the lower tiers go into the higher tiers. So everything from my belt pouch would go into the fanny pack, hopefully, if all goes well. Uh, generally, I have my knife and my phone still in my pockets. And but everything else would go in to the next tier, so everything from my belt pouch would go into the fanny pack. That doesn't quite work, but everything from the fanny pack does go, and the belt pouch does go into the satchel, and then after that, everything from that would go into the backpack. So, I probably should have laid that out a little bit better earlier, but this is one of the fanny packs that I use. I also have a... I also have one from Walmart here. This is just a cheap outdoor products one. Uh, it's very big, uh, just got a wide thing there. I don't use these mesh pockets that often. It's got a front pocket and a little secret sort of cash stash back pocket. This also has a carabiner clipped on it, like similar to my belt pouch, where this carabiner will clip onto my belt loop. And so if my belt fails and this belt fails, then the uh, fanny pack will dangle for a moment until I can retrieve it, hopefully. Now, the way I do use a fanny pack is I have a bag inside of it, which in this case is a custom Leathercraft bag. And this bag will be open inside the fanny pack, and so the fanny pack will close around it. So I open the fanny pack and I can immediately get to everything, but everything is also in a contained unit so that I can put it in the satchel or the backpack later. Alright, so let's uh, get to looking at what is inside here. The first thing is a big tech pen and stylus. This is just in case I need to be using a, uh, a tablet or a phone that has a touch screen and I don't like using my fingers. Uh, it's generally not a thing that I do, but it's just in case. And writing is something that I do quite a bit. This is a... Uh, goes along with that. This is a little Moleskine Volan notebook. Uh, just I use it for lists, usually shopping lists and stuff. Uh, moving right along, I have my EDC Altoids tin. Sometimes this goes in my pocket, sometimes this doesn't. I have a full video on the contents of this tin. Uh, it changed a little bit. It's got a lighter in there now instead of matches. And I took out the chapstick. Speaking of chapstick, that is over here in the corner. So there's some chapstick. There's also a glow stick, just in case, a little bit of emergency light. I guess the lighter could also qualify as emergency light. Just a uh, regular Bic lighter. Lighters come in handy, and I'm often, unfortunately, around smokers. I can't stand the smoke, but uh, they need lighters sometimes. And yeah, this is just for fun. Uh, this is the Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival Guide. I think it's funny to have around, especially considering this is not the survival portion of anything. Uh, scotch red plastic tape. Tape is very useful. This uh, is just still on the roll because I didn't feel like taking it off and making it more compact. And it's in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get sticky residue all over the place on everything else. But sticky residue does come off the sides of tape if you've ever just put tape in something. Next, this is sometimes in here is the uh, Leatherman Juice S2. Probably one of the best uh, simple multi-tools to have around. I 
uh, it, does, it does have scissors. I really like the scissors on pretty much everything, as indicated by the fact that I carry the Micra and not a squirt PS4 or a style PS in my pockets slash belt pouch carry. Next is a business card holder that actually does have my business cards in it, so I don't really need to show you that. And finally, in this tier is a Coleman poncho. These things are very inexpensive. I think they cost a couple bucks. Universal size poncho. Uh, if I'm accidentally caught out in the rain, it does happen to rain a lot where I live. Uh, it's very humid. It doesn't rain as much as many other places where you'd probably have a dedicated rain jacket, but it rains often enough that uh, I don't want to be caught out in the rain and I don't uh, generally uh, drive anywhere or am with people that drive a lot of places. So I usually bike or walk and uh, I'd rather have a poncho than be entirely miserable. Uh, I'd rather be kind of miserable. So that's all the stuff that I have in the belt pouch, or in not the belt pouch, in the fanny pack. Remember, everything from the belt pouch, that's what I was thinking of, everything in here uh, would go inside the fanny pack as well. So this would, this bag, when it's filled, I'm not putting stuff back in. This bag, when it's filled, would fit inside the fanny pack like this, be sitting in there and be open, so that when the fanny pack is closed, the bag can still be accessed. So you open the fanny pack and then you can just reach in and grab the stuff out of the bag. That is generally how I do that stuff. So that is my fanny pack EDC. Most of these things are kind of redundant. The lighter is just a bigger version of the lighter. I don't use chapstick very often. The multi-tool is bigger and more robust and I do enjoy that. I like having a, a big multi-tool and sometimes I just can't carry it around in my pockets. And a knife isn't a compromise, and all the tools always a compromise, of course. Uh, business cards are nice to have around. If I'm uh, going anywhere that might be businessy, I usually have those on my desk or something. I have some in my wallet as well, so this is not entirely necessary. This is just more kind of extraneous things. Anyway, thank you for watching if you have been, and I hope you tune in for the next video in the series, which will be my satchel, EDC. Bye.